My name is Craig Morgan. I'm a qualified electrician and technical advisor for New Air. Today I'm going to install the new Drymaster EcoHeat, New Air's latest and redesigned positive input ventilation system, also known as a PIV. Before we start the installation, here is a quick checklist of what to look out for in the loft to ensure a safe and effective installation. Let's start with what's in the box. The new circular diffuser is unique to the market. Not only is it more aesthetically pleasing, but its shape makes it easier to line up when installing. The control interface is housed within the diffuser to allow adjustment of speed, heater and unit temperature control, so it can be set and adjusted from the hallway without having to access the loft. The Drymaster EcoHeat has a 400 watt thermostatically controlled heater which is designed to fit directly to the diffuser. This unique feature provides minimal heat loss as the air is heated at the point of input on the unit. This new design creates a quick and simple install using less energy than a conventional PIV system with integral heater. The heater is also fitted with a bimetallic thermal trip for safety. The flexible ducting is 2 meters in length to overcome installation restrictions. The Drymaster Eco range can be suspended using the nylon cord supplied. This makes installation quicker and easier. The ability to suspend the unit allows you to capitalize on the solar gain within your loft to save more energy. This unit has 6 speed and 5 temperature control options to suit all property requirements. These 5 year filters ensure that the supply air is filtered and B&G 4 grade means that they are so fine that they will even exclude pollen which is great for hay fever sufferers. The fuse connection unit is supplied complete with the necessary 3 amp fuse and must be installed by a qualified electrician to the latest IEE regulations. The diffuser has a unique throw pattern and it is essential that it is located correctly in the central hallway. To install the diffuser, we need to cut out a section of the ceiling. Find the central location on the landing ceiling to install the diffuser. If possible, make sure that this is at least one meter away from a smoke alarm or carbon monoxide detector. Now that we've taken our measurements of the ceiling in the hall, transfer these measurements to the loft above. This should fall somewhere between two joists. Mark the center point between these two joists we now have the correct location to drill a hole through the ceiling to give a centre point below. Using the supply diffuser template, carefully line up the template with the centre point and mark out the section to be cut. Once this is done, cut out the section ready for the diffuser. Fit the diffuser into the aperture and secure using the screws and plasterboard plugs supplied. Once the diffuser is secured, slide the ducting over the heater and over the screws. Attach the supplied cable tie to below the screws to seal the duct to the heater. Connect the data cable to the diffuser interface panel and then connect the heater to the diffuser. Next, attach the ducting to the fan and secure using the cable tie. Fix a screw to a convenient joist near the diffuser. If possible, suspend the unit approximately two thirds of the loft height to capitalize on solar gain, making sure the duct is not overstretched. Once this is done, ensure that the filters are fitted securely. When the unit is in position, connect the data cable from the heater to the unit. And then connect the heater mains cable back to the unit. As with any data and mains cables, Ensure that there is a minimum of 50mm separation between the heat power and the data cable. Finally, before connecting the Drymaster Eco to the fuse connection unit, check that the supply voltage is correct. Isolate at the mains before connecting the Drymaster to the fuse connection unit. Once this has been connected, reinstate the power supply. When the install is complete, we recommend securing the cables either side of the duct using the cable tie supply to create a neat finish. Once powered up, the Drymaster Eco will automatically go through the temperature control option for two minutes. After the two minutes has elapsed, the unit will display the fan speed. To set the fan speed, press the up or down button. 
It's important when setting the heater temperature to turn the dial to set your target temperature. We recommend a midpoint of 10 degrees. When the supply air falls below this set point, the heater will automatically switch on and when the supply air is above 10 degrees Celsius, it will automatically shut off to save energy for the user. Remote switches are available to provide the occupant control over their own comfort within the home. For this unit I'm going to install a four-way switch, which will require binding to the Drymaster Eco unit. Press and hold both up and down buttons on the diffuser for 20 to 30 seconds, then release. A single horizontal bar will now flash on the display. Press the down button to enter binding mode. The display will flash B to indicate it has entered binding mode. This will indicate for 5 minutes. During these 5 minutes whilst in binding mode, press and hold the bottom two buttons on the 4-way switch at the same time until the LED flashes green twice. This indicates the switch is bound. If installing the CO2 and relative humidity sensors, put the dry master into binding mode as previously described and then apply power to the sensors. These sensors will automatically bind to the dry master eco unit. Alternatively, you can bind the sensor manually by tapping the indent button on the sensor to wake it up. Press and hold, the light will flash red and blue. Continue to hold until you see the lights flash red and green. Release and then tap again. Green LEDs will appear, confirming the sensors have bound to the unit. Please ensure this process is complete prior to fixing the sticky back switches or sensors to the wall. If it is not possible to position the diffuser at least one meter away from the smoke detector, fit one or more air dams to deflect the airflow. For further installation guidance, please refer to the installation and maintenance manual supplied with the unit. Alternatively, please refer to the download section on Newair's website.